Now, the hardest task. From the final three, the judges must decide which one will become Scotland's Home of the Year. So we have our final three. We have Lock Bay, we have Kirkley Mansion, and we have the old train house. It's quite a quirky selection, isn't it? Yeah, I love them all. It can't be tough. Mm-hmm. Old train house is really unique. We've never seen anything like it. Kirkley Mansion used to have weeds growing out of the gutters. Now it's got geraniums in the window boxes and that exquisite interior. Loch Bay, I'm going to suggest that whilst we absolutely love it, it's not quite up to the same level of uniqueness as the other two. If I had to you know, think of that as one of the determining criteria, for like something that has just lifted me into some other way of seeing something, I wouldn't disagree. In Loch Bay, I think I've seen that sort of treatment done incredibly well, and I still thought that was the comfiest cave I've ever been in my whole life. But the other two do still jump out at me as just carrying that little bit of extra magic. <sighs> I've got such a soft spot I for know, it. I know, island boy. I know. I mean, I, that yellow door and going in, I just felt right at home. And for me, that's what a home is all about. But I totally agree. I think you have, with these other two homes, truly extraordinary homes. And they still have all the hallmarks of the home that we're looking for. Um, it's just on an altogether, like, more wild scale, isn't it? So I love it, but it might be time to say goodbye to Lock OK, Bay. so a painful toodaloo. No, it's a see you soon. <laughs> a painful <laughs> a toodaloo, baby, <laughs> to Lock Bay. Yeah, au revoir, not goodbye. OK, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. And there's one home out of the two that remain that just makes my heart Flutter. What about you? Are you gonna... Oh, Michael, go. Michael, go first. OK. <laughs> He's buying some time. I, I had a moment, you know, and I always look for that moment, always thinking, was there something that I remember more than anything else of all the homes we saw that just stays with me? It just hit me. As soon as I went through the door, I just thought, wow, this, I feel so at home. That is brilliant. Wow. Oh my goodness, so banjo. I think there was one home that for, I, one home I'd absolutely love to live in, but one home just blew me away. It kind of reinvented the wheel and for me just kind of has the edge. So which one have the judges chosen? It's time for them to reveal Scotland's Home of the Year. Well, hi. Um, after much deliberation, we have finally whittled it down to our winner. It has been a pleasure getting to spend time in all of your homes and getting to know each and every one of you. And trust us when we say this has not been an easy decision. But there can only be one winner. And Scotland's Home of the Year is... Old Train House. just honestly seeing some of these houses. These are our dream future homes and for ours to be chosen is just incredible, absolutely incredible. I think I maybe just goes to show that it is home of the year and it's not house of the year. And yeah, and, and so I think we do have a lovely family home. Um, obviously, other people do too. So yeah, it's incredible. No, it was so nice meeting everybody and, um, you know, we all took a little selfie on the balcony earlier and I think we're all going to keep in touch, which is really nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs>